I think we're coming up to Clive. I could be going the wrong way. I've never really... <laughs> I've only been here one time. Maybe two times. My buddy David Washington lives around here. I gave him a ride home one day. Let's see. Ora Washington. African-American athlete. This is a, the Mennonite meeting house. This is like... The uh, Mennonites are like the Amish, but they can drive cars. I think, I don't know if that's technically the difference, but to me it is. Uh, trying to see what happened here. That's, I mean, that's a beautiful building across the street. Fuck. African American athlete who dominated black women's tennis. She won eight national singles. And she taught here when it was a YWCA. How about that? I met Arthur Ashe. When I was a kid, I was in the tennis for a year. And I went to uh, the Arthur Ashe tennis courts. I think that's, there were indoor tennis courts. And Arthur Ashe, oh, I say his name wrong. But Arthur Ashe showed me how to do a backhand. And, uh, uh, I think, like a month later, he announced he had AIDS. And this is before we were educated on AIDS, so I don't think I was a dickhead. I was in the fifth grade or sixth grade, so, but, you know, I, I thought maybe I, <laughs> Arthur Ashe uh, might have given me AIDS because he touched me. So, uh, that's not how it works. You don't get AIDS by getting touched by Arthur Ashe. Oh, we got a scooter backup. Scooter backup. Look at this traffic jam. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We're looking for five then. That's all we're doing. We're just looking for where they had the Battle of Germantown. What's it say about me that oh, block, blocking me in, blocking me in. Look at this. Here we go, here we go, let's do it. Oh yeah. This is the Johnson House. The Johnson House was part of the Underground Railroad. Uh, it was built in 1768 for John Johnson. This home was three generations of a Quaker family who worked to abolish slavery and improve the living conditions of free African Americans in the 1850s. This house was a station for the Underground Railroad. Here and in the smaller buildings around the property helped women and men escape slavery into freedom. I would really like to go in here. By appointment only. Hmm. Okay. I think if you go in here. If memory serves me correct. It was this little house here uh, where the slaves hid. Um, so they would hide out in this little, uh, I don't know. Should I? Very rarely is it open. It might be open February because of uh, Black History Month. And I think it's open like one Saturday. Oh, oh I don't know. It's, it's never open. <laughs> but I know it is open more in February. It was before the pandemic. Everything. 
That's another free library. They got a lot of these little free libraries in Germany, kind of uh, Just looking for Cliveden. Have you guys seen the, the Battle of Germantown House? Yeah, I hate that. I have to do this. I have to keep going across in the street back and forth. There's so much history. The Revolutionary War soldiers are buried here. There's a, there's a lot. A lawyer for some of the men in here who made the ultimate sacrifice. Would I be able to be riding a scooter down American streets telling you this, the great history of our, how we obtained our freedom? <sighs> Probably. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know how significant the Battle of Germantown was uh, in like the grand scheme of the Revolutionary War. I saw a guy in a wheelchair try to get around here and uh seems like it would be tough there's a lot of renovations going on there it is the only water ice i eat philadelphia water ice the weather out is oh so nice who wants a cup of water ice it's not nice yet look at that, that old school barbershop uh, it's not quite yet, but it's going to be 58 degrees, I think, Saturday. So, uh, I might break out the kilts. Who knows? Oh, I think this is Clive. I think we finally made it to where we're going to go. Look at these old steps. a guy who has a car like that and he'll park his car ever he's one of those people that have to they can't they can't uh they gotta start up their car and let it warm up for a half hour before they could but god forbid they feel the chill in the air that guy will have that car running like 15 minutes. One day I finally said something. I said, like, yeah, guy. What do you get doing? It's like 6.30 in the morning. You got the loudest goddamn thing in the world. Oh, I gotta warm it up. Do you? There it is. The Battle of Germantown the curve that Clive did. The country home of Chief Justice Benjamin Chu. Uh, oh, October 4th, 1777. A Bridget... A British, a British regiment occupied Cliveland, Cliveland to defend it from full assault by the colonies. Over 70 soldiers died on this ground. Although it was an American defeat, Washington's bold strategy helped win French aid for the cause of independence. So it sounds like we took the L, like we lost. Uh, are you kidding me? Ah oh, man, come on, you can't get in there? <sighs> 